everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name's Asha and today I'm going to be doing a video all about Valita, a new brand that I am trying out. I've got five products to try today and I just wanted to go through them all really and give them all a go um, and actually try them for about a month. So this is basically a luxury natural skincare range. It's made in New Zealand as well and the packaging is divine um, and I have felt a couple of <clears throat> the products in the back of my hand through a sample I think um, and maybe a pot I can't remember but it was there wasn't a lot of stuff that I tried previously to this but one of my best friends was showing me her products that she'd been getting recently and I was like wow they're amazing like they the ingredients look so good we were doing some research on it because I'm a beauty therapist she was getting my advice and um, showing me some of the range and I was very impressed by it and I want to show them to you guys as well so I have felt and touched them a little bit I've looked up the ingredients slightly that night with her with a couple of wines so so this is a little bit different. Um, I just thought I would show you guys these products and we can learn for ourselves today together. So the first product is a cleansing oil. Basically it's castor bean oil, avocado oil, safflower seed oil, grapeseed oil, um, manuka oil, jasmine oil and I think the frankincense must be what they use to make it smell delicious. I'm pretty sure I have smelt this product or maybe they all smell the same, who knows. This is the packaging. It is absolutely divine. This is all glass, which is nice so you can recycle it. Um, and then it's got the dropper on the top as well. Um, the packaging of the box is also uh, completely recyclable too. And inside it has got a little wee instruction manual. Just so you guys know, in, inside every product, you actually get a really cool massage routine on here. So it tells you how to massage your face to give you even better results with your skincare so I thought it was really cool it says here massaging facial skin increases collagen production and gives your skin a natural healthy glow gentle massage also helps the muscles relax and allow the stress and fluid held in our facial tissue to drain away finally massage skin is energized increasing the effectiveness of the Valita products you have applied so yeah tips be gentle and always work work in an upward motion from the inside out, which as a beauty therapist, I definitely know that is true. Okay, so I'm just gonna open it up and have a little smell and feel of it. So this is the cleansing oil. We will try this out very soon. Okay, so that dropper is really nice and long as well. I just love the packaging, it's beautiful. Oh, that smells amazing. Okay, it's got the frankincense smell, the jasmine smell. It is very, Oh, very Asha vibes to be quite honest. It's got that beautiful natural smell, but it is very feminine and very girly. That's what that jazz, that's probably the jasmine. Mm, it actually smells so good. I'm gonna be, oh, that's gonna feel so amazing to remove my makeup with. But anyway, we are gonna cleanse my skin. So maybe I'll chuck on a bit of foundation just to see how it works. Okay, next up is, it's hard to see in this lighting, um, but I'll show you soon. It's called the Valletta Youthful Glow, and it's the AHA Radiance Treatment. So that sounds pretty cool. So the main ingredients in this is avocado oil, lactic acid, glycerin, squalene, argan oil, jojoba oil, rosehip oil, a little bit of licorice root extract, which I know is brightening, salicylic acid, jasmine oil, aloe extract, which sounds really nice, a bit of hyaluronic acid as well, and some rosemary leaf extract. So again, beautiful packaging. Wow, very nice. And this one is with a pump at the top, and it is the same kind of um, packaging in that glass uh, cap case so that looks really interesting so I'm very excited to try that so let's pop some of this on the back of my hand this is the AHA treatment again it's got that beautiful smell it must have that frankincense and jasmine in it uh, that is interesting I don't feel anything but maybe on my face I will but it is um, lactic acid oh I feel it I feel it I feel it yay it doesn't feel super intense on the back of my hand but it might on my face so we'll see how it goes soon Next up is the rejuvenating oil. So this product looks like I might, yeah, so it's gonna be, I might have to keep these separate because the packaging is the same. Uh, so this is the rejuvenating oil and the ingredients in this is avocado oil, meadow foam seed oil, jojoba oil, mar marula, I haven't heard of that, marula oil, rosehip oil, argan oil, jasmine, and frankincense oil. There's a couple of other ingredients in there but those are the oils that are in the product. Um, again, 
all natural and luxurious skincare um, and I'm very excited to try this. Okay, so let's pop some of this on the back of my hand. Oh, the texture's totally different. Okay, this is way more like oily, if you will. Like two drops is like really going very, very, very far. That product feels lovely and it, it's completely absorbed. So that, well not completely, but it's absorbed really well. So it doesn't leave too much residue. And that strong smell is gone now and all I'm left with is that beautiful jasmine smell. Mm! Oh my gosh. You can tell these products are luxury. You can genuinely tell the smell, that frankincense, that jasmine, you know those oils are expensive. The hard working ingredients are at the beginning of all of the products and I can just, I just feel it. I can just feel that it's a really good product. So excited. Okay. Moving on. Oh, I am so excited about this. Okay, so my skin, I don't know how it's going to react to doing an AHA as well as this, but we'll see how we go. So this is the Purifying Mask, which is uh, basically kaolin clay, French pink clay, vitamin C, which is water-soluble, um, raw cacao powder, matcha powder, neem leaf, bicarbonate of soda, interesting, um, citric acid, orange peel powder and rosehip seeds. Um, so basically this is gonna be slightly different to the other products. So this is basically a powder, smooth it over your face and neck when you add a little bit of water to it. So very exciting. So that is the Valita Purifying Mask. I don't know if it will have a smell. Yeah, it smells like, um, it smells like clay. And yeah, I don't know how else to explain that. It smells like clay. Anyway, we will try that very soon. So we'll give that a go. Oh, so excited. And last but not least, we have our Nourishing Moisturizer, which is in that same beautiful packaging. Oh gosh, this packaging is just divine. Smells really good. It kind of has the same smell as the oil. So I bet there's something in it that's similar. Okay, so it's got avocado oil, vegetable glycerin, meadow foam seed oil. Maybe it's that, the meadow foam seed oil that smells like that. Argan oil, jojoba oil. Oh, it's got maloa oil as well. Rosehip seed oil, jasmine, and frankincense. So we're going to try this entire range out on my skin right now and see how my skin reacts to it. So just a bit of a disclaimer for my skin. I have eczema and it's inflamed at the moment. I hasn't been this inflamed in a very long time, but if you can see it right there, it's also right here on my upper lip. Um, and sometimes I even get it around my eye area. So this range doesn't have an eye cream. So I am going to be using my own eye cream. So you probably won't really look too much around the eye area anyway. Um, but yeah, basically, we're going to use it all over and see how I react for the first day. Um, and then I will check in at the very end of the month and we will see how my skin is going. So at the moment, uh, my eczema is super inflamed. So if it's gone away, I'm going to be so happy. Maybe changing it up and actually using something natural might be better for it. So I'm very intrigued to see uh, how my skin goes in the next month. And the reason I'm doing it for a month is because our skin has a 28 day cycle in general um, and takes about 28 days for skincare products to really show, them, uh, show the difference in the skin. Um, and if I love it, I'm going to continue to use it after that as well. But I do want to give it a full month's go. Um, sometimes you can get breakouts and things like that uh, for changing your skin uh for changing your skincare routine up as well. So that can um, affect things too. But essentially, I am going to just give this a go and see what my um, what happens to me really. Uh, but yeah, let's just get started, I reckon. So first of all, it's the oil cleanser. Okay, you guys know the drill. We're just gonna get my headband on and then go ahead and use the skincare. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, this is probably gonna look absolutely hideous, so I apologize, don't worry, because I'm gonna be washing it right off. I'm just gonna take some double wear, real quick, and just apply a little bit on my skin. So we've got those on, now what I'm gonna do is wash my face. I will just let the mascara dry, um, and we'll see how we go, sorry. Excuse the makeup. It says that it's going to remove makeup pollution and impurities. Warm five to ten drops of cleansing oil between your hands. Press hands to your face, neck, and allow the oil to melt into your skin. Use firm upward strokes to ensure that the oil covers your entire face. Remove with a warm, damp face cloth. Warming it up in my hands and pressing it in. So now I'm just doing upward motions. You can see the makeup coming off my face. Okay, I'm just going to do my eyes.
Okay, the eyeshadow came off super easy. Mascara, I can still kind of feel on my eyes. Okay, cool. Now let's get a warm cloth. Give me one second. Okay, so I've got myself a damp, warm washcloth. I'm just gonna press it first and I'm just gonna wipe away. Used to using a oil makeup remover. Um, so I'm used to an oil, but I'm not used to afterwards not going in with a foaming cleanser. So I'm gonna find that quite difficult. But my skin definitely feels clean. Doesn't feel, oh wow, I'm actually, oh I'm so excited. Okay, my skin feels, okay, so after I, I I'm too excited. Um, after I cleanse my skin, usually my skin is um, like ready for more water to be put onto my skin. But right now I can feel my skin drying and it doesn't feel sore. Also, my eczema, no pain. Okay, very excited. Um, this is an A plus so far. Okay, next up is called the Valletta Youthful Glow and it's the AHA Radiance Treatment. Use one to two pumps on clean skin, avoiding the eye and lip area at night. Leave to penetrate skin for a few minutes before smoothing on Valletta Rejuvenating Oil or Valletta Nourishing Moisturizer. Leave on overnight. Repeat one to three times a week. So for particularly sensitive skin, so we're gonna do that today, but I will do it the other way as well. But today I'm gonna leave it on for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it off. But I'm very excited to see how my eczema reacts to this. So I am going to put it on my eczema. We're gonna see what happens. On clean skin, avoiding the eye and lip area. Feel it. I can feel it, but it's tolerable. I don't feel like I need to wash it off instantly. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna put it over my lip and see what my lip does. That is the weirdest thing. There is no pain at all. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my neck which would usually like flare up instantly. So let's just see. I'm so excited. It doesn't hurt. I'm gonna do it on my chest. Getting way too excited about this. I want my whole body to glow. So basically I have left this on for 10 minutes now. I'm just going to wipe this away, but you can put this on underneath your moisturizer at night. Um, and my skin, again, feels so good. I've got this pimple scar on my chin that's taking ages to heal as well. So I wonder if that'll help it. So this might get a little bit messy, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, purifying mask. So on the back it just says, it deeply cleanses exfoliates skin and fights visible signs of aging. Activate three level teaspoons of powder with one teaspoon of water. Um, you can foam it into a mousse and then apply it um, with your fingers or a brush. So I'm gonna go and get a little bowl and I'll be back. Mm, it smells good in here. Right, so we're gonna open this guy up and get three level teaspoons. Three teaspoons and now I'm just gonna take some water. So, sorry, it's not pretty, but that is what we've got going on at the moment. We're gonna get a clean brush. This is my face mask brush, which I don't know if will be okay after this, but anyway. Oh gosh, funny, it's like the same color as my skin. <laughs> I feel weird about putting a clay on top of my eczema, so I'm probably not going to. <laughs> I can hardly move. I'm gonna zoom you guys in to my nose because that is crazy. And my chin. Look at my nose. Look at my chin. And that did not take long to dry. Now what it says is to dip your hands in some water and to massage this and then remove with a wet cloth. So. I get why you need to wet it, so that you can kind of get it ready to remove. Circular motions. Wow. Look how bright my skin looks. I'm very happy. So my skin feels so good. Like amazingly smooth and wow.
just amazing. French pink clay and kaolin clay are really good for removing dirt and impurities but also tightening the skin. Vitamin C which is also brightening so that's probably why my skin feels so bright. It's got uh, so raw cacao powder has high antioxidants and protects the skin and repairs it from um, damage and it also helps with premature aging. It's also anti-inflammatory, it soothes redness and blemishes improving skin's complexion. Awesome. Everything in this is just amazing. I'm so happy right now. Now we're going to go ahead and put the rejuvenating oil onto my skin and press onto your face and neck, allowing the oil to melt into your skin. Follow with the Valita Uplifting Enli Enlivening Facial Massage Ritual uh, to work the oil into your skin. I'm just going to press, press, press. So using your opposite hand, sweep firmly from your collarbone upwards towards your jaw. The movement has to be repeated alternating hands. So that is basically. Next step is neck hug. Using the opposite hand, sweep firmly mm. in an outwards motion from the center of your neck back to the back of your neck. The movement needs to be repeated with alternate hands. Jaw stretch. Use three fingers, stretch along your jawline from your chin outwards to your ears and move with alternating hands again. So. So chin to the ear, three fingers. Lovely. Using your thumbs, run your thumbs from your jaw in and in and up. Ooh, it feels so good. Cheek smooth, using four fingers in the palm of each hand, on each hand across, smooth across and outwards, working from your nose to, mm. um, outwards towards your ears. So that's pretty simple, that's this. Imagine doing that every night to yourself. Um, smile line flick. Use your pointer finger, press down and flick outwards up along your smile line. Work from the corner of your nose to the outer of your mouth. So, under eye bags, using your middle fingers, gently sweep outwards from the inner corners of the eyes to, the, to your temples. So, gentle sweeps from the inner corners out. Okay, there's no oil under my eyes. Hold on. I normally wouldn't put oil under my eyes, but hey. Brow pinch. With your thumbs underneath, press and pinch along your eyebrows. Work the inside out. Mm, I love this feeling. I feel so good. Okay, then we're going to do the frown lift. Use your three middle fingers, press and sweep mm. upwards from between your eyebrows to your hairline. Use alternating hands. That feels so good. Okay, forehead sweep. Using your whole hand, sweep across your forehead from one temple to the other. Repeat with alternating hands, the last movement. So sweep. Oh, that's amazing. And again, it smells really, really, really good. So now we're going to finish off with the Valita Nourishing Moisturizer. And this here also smells very similar to that oil. I'm just going to take a good dollop because I want to put it everywhere. Okay, it's lightweight. Okay, guys, my skin... I is loving these products. I have no issues so far. Just so you guys know, my first impressions are amazing. I'm very excited and I knew I would be from looking at the ingredients um, when I first was looking at the range. Okay guys, we will come back in a month's time. I appreciate you guys watching thus far and we will see you very soon. Hi everyone, so I am back. It has been a whole month. Actually, it's been slightly longer, but anyway, I am going to show you guys um, how my skin has reacted to the product, and I'm going to go through the products a little bit more in depth. Maybe not in depth, but what I feel like they did for me. So um, I'm going to start out with the cleansing oil. So the cleansing oil has been awesome. Um, as you can see, oh, can you tell it's about here? Um, I have used quite a bit of it, so... I know that seems like a lot, but I do use, I do wear a lot of makeup, so I was finding when I was putting it on, I wanted to use a bit more to dissolve my eyeshadow and my um, mascara, so I was being a little bit lazy, I could just use an eye makeup remover, but this was working really well, so I just did that, um, as you saw from the previous um, video when I was applying it, I did a little bit more and I actually kind of pushed it into my eyelashes. Um, it doesn't react to my skin, it's amazing, it definitely melts your makeup. The only thing is I need to use a second cleanser, it's just me, I can't help it. I do like like a foaming kind of 
um, wash away cleanser. Uh, I did like the way this felt, but because I'm in the shower, I don't have like, I don't use a flannel in the shower. So I didn't grab a flannel and every time and wash my face. So personally, I do use a um, foaming cleanser after this. Um, so when I realized I started doing that, I started to use a lot less of, well not a lot less, but less of this. I don't use the foaming cleanser for around my eye area though, so this definitely does remove your eye makeup. Um, as you can see, because I'm wearing no makeup today, and that's because I washed my face last night with it. So, I do really rate the product. I feel like, yes, it's an amazing cleansing oil. It will remove your makeup, help um, remove impurities out of the pores and everything like that. But personally, this is just for me, so you guys might be different. But I do like a foaming cleanser as well. So, you might be able to just add this into your regime. Um, it's a nice, natural way of getting your makeup off. Um, and, yeah, it's really, it smells amazing. So you put it on, you're like, ugh, the beginning of my skincare routine. Like, it really does. It smells, it smells so good. I know I keep talking about the smell of these products, but they are incredible. I wish I could push it through the camera, but anyway. So yes, that is the cleansing oil. Love it. Then, um, of course, we go straight into um, masks because... Um, the other products are moisturizers and uh, oils. So the next product that I use is the AHA Radiant Treatment. So it's hard to tell how much is in here. It's, for me, I don't really, I don't know how much I've got. It looks like it's about there. Um, so essentially, I use this maybe through three times in the, no, sorry, two times in the first week, one time in the second, and then like three times for the last two weeks, because I love it. Um, I even took it on holiday with me and shared it with my girlfriends so they could try it because they were obsessed with it as well, and yeah, basically made them fall in love with it too. So the AHA treatment, you can feel it tingling a little bit, but it does not hurt, it does not feel like ouch, and also it was really good for my eczema areas, um, as I'll show you guys later. Uh, it didn't burn them, didn't hurt them, so I was able to exfoliate these areas which do need that extra exfoliation because eczema is a buildup of skin um it's more than that but it's one of the things so yeah so essentially this was actually really really good so again that's the AHA treatment again it's in a pump and basically you put it on and you go to sleep with it on I was doing that maybe twice a week and then I'd put it on like a mask quite thick and then wash it off maybe once a week so really really enjoyed this product the AHAs aren't harsh I just think that they Melt, make your skin feel absolutely amazing. Um, I really rate this product. It's definitely a winner for me. Then we have, this is actually my favorite product. It is the Valida Purifying Mask. So this doesn't have the amazing smell that the others do. However, it is amazing. Oh yeah, you can see there's not that much left. Um, I did share this with my girlfriends as well. Definitely have used like a good third of it. It is amazing. The product itself is super easy to use. You just um, mix it with some water. It's give, it gives you the instructions on the box. That's why I keep the box. The clay is amazing. It draws out all your toxins. Your skin feels incredible afterwards. Feels a bit tighter as well. Um, and yeah, it exfoliates, smooths. It's amazing. I do this in between my AHA. Um, so yeah, really, really recommend this product. This is my absolute favorite. It just show you can just put it on take it off and your skin like literally looks like new skin and it feels so good. So this is like a really good quick fix before my weekend or sometimes after to be real with you. Um, but yeah, amazing product, literally my favorite. Oh, I'm about to say the other one's my favorite. I feel like this is my favorite mask that I own. So out of all my masks, this is my absolute favorite. So yeah, if that gives you an idea, it is my favorite. At, it is definitely one of my favorites in this range, but I have one more product that like I love, like I love, love. That is the Purifying Mask. It's amazing. It's been a game changer for my skin and honestly, 10 out of 10 recommend. Okay, my absolute favorite product is the Rejuvenating Oil. This is... The smell is amazing. It takes you somewhere. It puts you into like a, a beautiful trance and it just makes you feel like, oh, luxury, you know? It's so gorgeous. I'm surprised that I've only used this much considering I use it every single night um, to massage my skin. I also use it um, a, like a drop, maybe two drops in my moisturizer in the morning as well. But at night I actually put this on my skin all over and I actually use my massaging tool from Shiseido. I love this little guy. And I massage my skin. Oh, that feels good. Massage. I better do the other side. I can't go uneven. <laughs> 
Anyway, um, I use this to kind of like make it smoother for my um, tool to work on, but also just to really rehydrate the skin and fill it up with all that goodness. And my skin, it loves it. My eczema loves it. It really thrives on it. And I can't wait to show you guys. Yes, my eczema is still there, but honestly, it definitely, you can tell it's different you can tell it's healthier um, and I'm still working on it you know it's only been a month so I'm really happy with the progress and the results so absolutely my number one favorite I even um, bring it down my chest and stuff not all the time just every maybe once a week um, because obviously you can easily break out in this area well I don't know if you guys do but I know I do so yeah anyway love this product amazing amazing okay so last but not least is the moisturizer. This is just called the Nourishing Moisturizer. Really is nourishing. It says exactly what it does. It's a lightweight texture and um, I use it morning and evening. Now I don't have a sunscreen, so I will put a sunscreen on top. Currently I'm using the Shiseido sunscreen, which is like an SPF 50. I do use this every single uh, morning, every single night. I reckon it would last me another two to three months, so it does last a while, especially because at night I'm putting a lot of this oil on. So my skin is super slick, so I just need a bit of a moisturizer to kind of lock everything thing in so probably use more during the day to be honest so yeah that is the full routine love the moisturizer it's been amazing I'm assuming it's definitely done a lot like a lot of work but to be quite honest with you the products that I really love are the three middle products you know the cleanser awesome it works it does its job the moisturizer awesome works does its job but these are extraordinary products like that you can see the results you can see the difference I personally think that these are the ones that have truly changed my skin because they're more of a treatment. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. The moisturizer could be the lifesaver and the game changer because I have used the whole range all at once. Um, so I'll continue to use everything, obviously. But for me, what I know my skin like drinks up and loves, this is just going to lock it all in, which you do need. You can't just use the products that I've just said. You can't just use, okay, cool, mask, AHA and oil. No, you do need to remove your makeup and you do need to seal everything in with a moisturizer and protect that moisture barrier as well. So they all do go hand in hand. Um, but yeah, my three top favorite products is the mask. Oh my gosh, the clay mask. I love it. Amazing. The AHA, because it definitely does gen genuinely exfoliate my skin. And I haven't needed to use a manual exfoliator. When I say manual exfoliator, I mean the ones with the little granules. And the rejuvenating oil, as you know. Love this stuff. So yeah, that is my skin routine. But yeah, I will just show you guys my um, neck and my upper lip as well. So I'll zoom you guys in real quick. That is my skin. It's feeling and looking amazing. I'm so happy. I just want to apologize for my eye. As you can see, it's quite red, but um, I accidentally poked myself this morning when I was washing my face. So it is what it is. <laughs> That's it, you guys. That's the whole range. It's amazing. Changed my skin. I love the way my skin looks. Feels so hydrated and honestly, it's glowing, but it doesn't feel like I'm wearing like a heavy amount of skincare, you know. Really, really amazing. And I've actually started to use um, a little bit of the, this as a body oil as well, just on my elbows and on my knees and stuff like that. So areas that I get a little bit extra dry. So yeah, been loving it. But anyway, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check my description box down below for all um, information on these products, as well as where to purchase them. And um, you can check out the Instagram as well. Uh, so make sure to follow all of those. And uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Make sure to follow me and my Instagram and everything else down below and like this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!